I'm Justin Roberts, Critical Care Consultant at East Lancashire Hospitals. And as part of our fluid stewardship education films, we're going to look at the use of fluids for replacement and redistribution needs. Fluid replacement is the use of fluids to replace the volume that the patient has previously lost or is currently losing. Fluid redistribution occurs in conditions such as sepsis and pancreatitis, when fluid moves from the intravascular compartment to the peripheries, resulting in a low blood volume. When considering replacement and redistribution, you need to account for any ongoing fluid losses by adding extra fluid to the prescription. Or, conversely, subtracting from the prescription if fluids are being given by other means, such as with intravenous medicines, or if the patient is fluid overloaded, and whether there are derangements in their electrolytes. Start with a history of any previous limited fluid intake. First, the quantity and composition of abnormal losses and any comorbidities. Assess using the A, B, C, D, E approach. Check the trends in the person's use and ease, their full blood count, their early warning score, and look at their fluid balance chart. And make sure you know their body weight. Again, be mindful of patients receiving fluids from other sources. A patient on amoxicillin, metronidazole and gentamicin will receive 700 ml of water and 106 millimoles of sodium. So that 700 ml needs subtracting from the volume needed. For replacement, areas of possible losses of fluid and electrolytes are vomiting and NG tube losses, biliary drainage losses, high volume ileal stoma loss, diarrhoea or excess colostomy loss, ongoing blood loss due to melina, sweating, fever and dehydration, pancreatic, jejunal fistula and stoma losses, and urinary losses, for example, post-AKI polyuria. Consider the volume of fluid to add for any of these. Our Blippet Medzab will help you calculate these volumes. Look at the fluid balance chart. Measure abnormal losses as these should be replaced Plasmolite is suitable for most fluid losses. Sodium chloride 0.9% could be used for upper GI losses because gastric acid is very rich in chloride. Redistribution of fluids to other body areas is our final consideration. So check for gross edema, severe sepsis, hyper or hyponatremia, renal, liver and or cardiac impairment, post-operative fluid retention and redistribution, malnourishment and refeeding issues. Typically, you'd start at one to two mils per kilo per hour and reassess as appropriate. If you need more expert input, then contact the acute care team or the critical care team. Thank you for watching. Now go and be good fluid stewards.